Hello everyone! Today we're going to do a few different art games. Um, this one that we're going to do is kind of like a character making art game. So I have a bunch of different cards here. These cards have some ideas for like a story or a character on them. Um, for example, this one right here says the wanderer. Okay. Now that could be a character that maybe like wanders around, a traveler, maybe someone who has a lot of like knowledge about something. Um, but basically what we're doing today is I'm going to be showing you a few of these cards and I would like you to create a character from them. So for example, Maybe I'll show you these two. So we've got the crown and the woods. So what type of character could you make by having the crown and the woods? I want you to take a second to think about that. If you have a whiteboard out, you can draw it if you want to. Um, but this is just an example. The crown and the woods. So something that I might do is the crown usually shows like a king or a queen or a prince or a princess um, and the woods. I think it'd be really fun to have a character that's like a king or a queen over the woods. So their castle would be in the woods. Now I can even go further with that character by saying like, if they like to be the queen over the woods, if they talk with animals, maybe if they can climb trees, if they are really good at camping. So a lot of different things you can think of for your character, okay? So I think this is actually a really good place to start. I'd love for you to take the crown and the woods and create a character. All right, I'm going to give you about two minutes to do this, and then you're going to come back and show each other your creation. If you get done drawing the main character, I'd love for you to draw details around them, like maybe what their castle looks like if they have one, maybe what the woods look like. Just kind of give as much detail as you can, okay? You can even name them if you'd like to. That's the hardest part sometimes. All right, ready, set, and go. All right, welcome back. I would love for you to show your creation of your character with someone next to you. Um, take about 10 seconds to do that and then we're gonna go to our next character, okay? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and done. All right. If you have this on a whiteboard, you'll want to erase, 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 erase. Um, and here's our next two things I want you to include into your character. The first is the serpent or maybe a snake. The second is the storm. All right. Now I'm not going to give you any ideas on this one. I just want you to think of a character and how you can involve a snake and a storm. I think I'm going to draw this one as well this time. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do the serpent and the storm. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Serpent and the storm. Welcome back. I'm going to show you mine really quick. I have actually been um, playing a lot of Pokemon cards with my nephews lately. So I thought of a Pokemon <laughs> type of character. So I did this lightning snake that can, that has like lightning and storm powers. Okay. So your character doesn't have to be humanoid or human. They could be an animal as well, just as long as you have both of the cards in there. All right. Okay, here is our next one. We've got the Inferno. Now this usually just means a lot of fire. Okay. The Inferno and the Stag. The Stag is basically uh, like a deer. So fire and a deer. So how could you combine those two to make a character? And remember what I said, the character doesn't have to be a human. They can be an animal as well. All right, take a few minutes to do a combination of the fire and the deer. Ready, set, and go.
All right, welcome back. Now I want to show you my combination for the mountain and the mask. Now I thought of like a superhero, so their mask kind of looks like a mountain. Um, it's a little harder to see. You can see their mask right here kind of has the mountain peaks on it. Okay, so that was my character that I decided to draw. I'd love for you to take a few seconds and show people around you your creation. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. All right, friends. So um, I love doing this character combination game. It's really fun to do, and it's a really great way to stay creative. Um, if we, if you would like to do this again in the future, just let me know, and I will see you guys after fall break. All right, bye.